Hello, this is William Five Man, another um, RC episode of the channel. So today <clears throat> we are reviewing the Sama SO26G Chinook. Now this is one of my favorites. Although if you're gonna buy something like this, make sure you're experienced because this is definitely a lot more unstable than our, than the regular he helicopter we reviewed. So this is totally different and it's a lot more unstable. So, um, so here's the helicopter, it's a, yeah, the Chinook, it's got gyros, um, it's got two blades, or pretty much actually four, but, and if we look underneath, you got right here, oh, wait, hold on, we've got to identify it, can't really see anything, but there's pretty much LEDs here, so you can do night flying, although I cannot see anything during that, so, because it's only one, there's not one in the back or anything like that, and then, um, we got your charging port, Okay, your infrared sight, and um, you got your on and off, and yeah, charging it is infrared, so it's for indoor use only. Um, and um, it also comes with um, this. Uh, uh, if you can hear that in the back, you know, back, back, um, back of our room, the TV for some reason just literally turned on. Okay. Well, anyways, um, so here's your charging. You can plug this into your um, helicopter or your the jack in your helicopter, and then you plug this into a um, charging USB port. So um, yeah, and it takes about I say for this it takes about 45 minutes. And it's pretty good for about 10 minutes of flight. I say that's pretty good. Um, so here's the controller, regular standard controller, Sama. Um, you got your you got your throttle or up and down. Uh, you got and then it's forward, yeah, forward, backward, and like, and what's really weird is it's not left and right here, it doesn't like, it doesn't like turn like a car left and right, it like literally just, it stays in position and pivots left and right. Um, you got your trim, you got on and off, and you got three channels, you got A, B, and C. I stick to A, because it's just, there's no use for any of the others, so you can fly more than one, I guess, or you can fly more than one Chinook. And then, I, what I really like is this is trim rotating pivot. These trims, you can see, I think, it, yeah, it says the B is for back, F is for forward. And so you can, like, so this is trimming when you're going forward and, when you go forward and backward. Or, yeah, not side to side. Um, and my brother's trying to fart on me. You done? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways. <coughs> Um, you also got, you can also charge, um, your USB port through the actual controller, but that, I, in my opinion, what I really like what Sama does is they, um, they don't, so, they do it so you don't have to kill your batteries, so, you got your charging port right here for, um, the Chinook 2, but that kills your batteries, so I always use the regular, I'd recommend using the regular one if you, if you have that option, if not, buy a bunch of batteries, because it will drain your batteries fairly quickly. So now for the test run. So let's go do that. And I'll, you can see the, the LEDs lighting up right here now, too. You can see those popping out. Thank you. Don't know how well the camera is that. So, okay. You ready, Sophie? Yep. Okay, wait. I fell off last time I did that and I had a really bad experience. Fly off of a flat space, at least by like 12 by 12 or 1 by 1 foot. They're both on this little big square pillow, so it's shaky. So, um, so we want to get on the ground, is that okay? I won't do okay. anything. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Okay. <laughs> 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 Stop, I'm getting off. <laughs> so this is like, this is just hovering, so. It don't, it's slightly hovering toward and see. So I'll show you a trim, so like that. That's pivoting. So, it doesn't go left and right, so I can go forward. Off a lot. I'll try to land. What's really weird though is when you land it, when you land this plane, since this, since this blade is closer to the ground, it will actually push up. So it'll kind of, when you get near to the ground, it will actually start to go backwards. So it's pushing off to the ground. And you'll start to realize when you have low battery, when, um, when you don't go forward, um, forward very fast. 
So I can land that there. That was actually kind of rough landing, but it is kind of close. So we'll go again. And you can go backwards. Backwards is an option too. And it's really, really good at like being it's really sensitive and like touchy. So, like it, it doesn't like for most of the helicopters I've driven, it like has like a two second delay before it actually gets to the train. And like, this is actually an instant, which is really nice. Which I guess actually should be on most on all people. It can play some pretty good um white, pretty bright white. I dim up, if you have the dim option, I'd use that. If you don't, try flying them like near the like, evening and like the morning to like not look not like come through the windows and stuff. But we're flying at around like six, six or seven o'clock and it's already black outside, so it's pretty good. We got all the lights on in here too. Whoa, so I think, um, so that's it at the, at the end of this video, and I'll, I'll see you guys later. So, yeah, bye.